How's it going, buddy? What's up? What's Gucci? What's poppin'? It's your girl, Rachel Bronimo! Go to Travel Influencer for simple travel tips, tricks, and adventures. I haven't been on here for a while just because I've been a little bit busy, but, and also I'm a bit crusty too, but what about Augusta Q? It took me a while to decide if I wanted to make this video or not because I didn't know if I was actually emotionally and mentally prepared to talk about this incident that has happened to me in Vietnam. The title says it all. This is not clickbait. It's a true story. I got bit by a monkey. Before we get into this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss another trip tip with me again and anyway let's get to the video guys i went to hanoi and one of the excursions that i went to was going to go to monkey island and before you know we departed i was telling all my friends like don't touch the monkeys don't even interact with the monkeys because they are dangerous but i disregarded everything that i said when i saw this man playing with the monkeys he had bananas and like he was feeding the monkeys the monkeys were so cute the monkeys were on top of him. And I just asked this guy, I'm like, hey, do, are, are these monkeys okay? Do they bite? He's like, no, they don't bite. And I'm like, perfect. This is my opportunity to play with the monkeys too. I didn't have any food, but I wanted to just play with, I just wanted to get that picturesque moment that I actually was playing with monkeys. So I went up to this monkey gang. I was playing with the monkeys and one of them went on my shoulder. Amy, on her perspective, she assumes that one of the monkeys got jealous. Like I wasn't giving the other monkeys attention. So when the monkey got off of me, I stood up and right when I stood up, a monkey bit me, <laughs> bit me right here. I, I don't know if you guys can see it, but like it bit me right here. When the monkey bit me, I had no idea what was happening. Like I, I just looked around me and hordes of people were just trying to protect me and they started to throw sand to the monkey. The first thing that I initially thought of was like, okay, well I need to disinfect this. So I just went to the ocean and started to wash off the wound because it started to bleed. I was really concerned if I was going to have rabies. I went up to my tour guide and I explained the scenario and he told me not to worry about it. All these monkeys are vaccinated on this island. Like it just didn't sound realistic. Like how are you going to vaccinate all the monkeys when there are a million monkeys on this island? You don't even have like special tags to identify each monkey. So I feel like he was only saying that just so I could calm down. He's like, trust me, like people get bit all the time. I get bit as well. And he showed me his marks. I'm like, they weren't as close to my wound. You suck. Mine was open, it was bleeding. And his was like tiny little marks. If this happens to you, I found a doctor and I took immediate procedures. I got my wound taken care of and I had to ask him if I should get a vaccination for rabies. And he was like, no, but I'm like thinking in my head, I'm not going to risk it. So when I get back to Hanoi, I am going to go to the hospital to get properly treated because I don't want to risk my life. Rabies is fatal guys. And so do not take it lightly. Do the same precautions that I did. Go to the hospital and actually get a vaccination for rabies. Um, shot. Guys, don't play with the monkeys. They're cute, but also my fingers fucked up. I just gotta check a reality. They do have the rabies shot and I'm really happy about that. A little bit emotional right now, but I really wanna I spread awareness to you guys. I'm letting you know just to be careful. If you're in Vietnam and this is currently happening to you, or if you have a friend who's in the same situation, uh, the best hospital to go to that I'm currently in right now is at Hanoi French Hospital. There are currently 17 doctors that are working, and they're very, they're efficient in their work. I'm very sorry that I'm crusty, but it's been a long day, and I hope that this video helps you out. I want to make sure that you guys know that you're okay, 
this is going to be a five session every three days I need to get another rabies shot so I'm gonna be finishing up the process when I get to Korea uh, everything will be fine so yeah I was petrified for the first day I couldn't sleep because I was thinking like oh my goodness like this is going to take over my life I'm, I'm really concerned so when I got to Hanoi, I went to the Hanoi French Hospital where they gave me the Verorab vaccination, which is the vaccination for rabies. And it's probably one of the most painful shots I've ever had. I cried, guys. I cried. I had a booster shot first, and then I took the Verorab shot in both arms. So online, it explains that a person should have four doses of rabies shots, but I had five. And so the proper procedures of having this vaccination happens on day zero, day three, day seven, day 14, and day 28. And so it's critical that you have to take these doses on those specific days because if you miss a specific day, it could detrimize a life. Also, I want you guys to keep in mind that if this does happen to you, if you have a different vaccination brand, that's okay. No matter what, you need to have the rabies shot taken on the specific date that the doctor has given you. I had a lot of concerns about you know, whether I'm going to die, like is this something that I should be concerned about? And, you know, I've spoke to six doctors within this whole process and all of them said that I have nothing to worry about if I'm taking this vaccination because it is 100% preventable. I know if you, are lit, if you were watching this video and this has happened to you and you got bit by um, a wild animal, it it's it's really concerning. It, it, you just feel like oh my goodness like is am I going to be okay but I will tell you guys right now you are a 100% you are going to be fine some side effects that I had during this process this was a month process um, mentally I was just not in the right place just because I was so concerned about my life and so that really took a toll on me um, emotionally it was dreadful just because of how my body was experiencing with the vaccination um, and I was just not emotionally stable during that month um, and then physically I was having twitches throughout my body and it's really scary when your body just starts twitching out of nowhere and you can't control it I was nauseous for the first time that I took my dose and every time I took a dose, I was always nauseous for like seven days. Um, I would get numbing on my either my arms or my legs. I would get massive headaches. The doctors told me that there is a chance that I could get a fever, but I was lucky enough to never experience that, so that could happen to you. Um, just this journey with having rabies vaccination was just I don't ever want anybody to go through that so if you are watching this video and you love animals and I love I love animals but right now I'm just traumatized the total cost that I had to pay for my vaccination was approximately a thousand US dollars yeah if you are ever in the situation there is help make sure to just not touch any wild animals so anyway Thank you guys for listening. Um, thank you for letting me be all up in your face. Once again, I'll see you next time. Wherever you're going, safe travels. Cheers. I'll see you next time. Bye.